Hi, this is Mike, turning on the knot head tool. Uh, in my quest to find a great loop knot, I've completed the Bimini twist, and on our tool, the parameters only allow us a loop of a certain size. Uh, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to change that. I've also almost completed the spider hitch knot, and uh, you can turn a long, long uh, loop with that. I haven't got it up to speed yet. Everything turns right. Uh, so I haven't really got the speed down right. But this turn here that I'm gonna show you is a surgeon's loop knot. And it's really great. You can tie it with braid, floral, mono, and others, and it really works out pretty great. The reason I like using the tool for this is when I come back to turn my loop to make my surgeon's turn, um, it's gonna be a loop and I'm gonna be turning uh, the loop will turn two times each time, and I have found by using this particular knot on 20-pound test fluorocarbon that that is the best. So there's formulas you got to figure out. They're not real difficult. Say if you step up in line, you may take off a turn. Braid line may, may need more turns. But this has really worked out for me to be a great loop knot, and using the tool, I can keep all my lines straight. I can open up the opening so I can make easy turns so I'm not crossing over. And uh, then I pull it down to a smaller size and I keep that captured. And that smaller size makes sure that when you go to pull, because a lot of these, when you put a lot of loops, will try to dance over top the other one. So I pull it down to this smaller size. And when I do, that keeps them closed. And I pull it very quickly and they all just slide together. Excellent knot, no abrasion to the uh, to the turn, and this holds super great. Like I said, all line materials that we're uh, talking about, really great. All you have to do is change the number of turns. So we're using this 20 pound test. I'm gonna get started. And I always like to lubricate fluorocarbon and mono, extra good. Okay, so we're gonna create this loop right here, okay? we're gonna come out here and we're gonna place this right in here. This is our slip post capture. We're gonna place it right down in there just like that. And then we're gonna take the rest of this back and put right here. This will give you a little extra tension for holding and creates this area right here for turning. Okay, so here is my loop right here. I'm gonna bring this through. And if you can imagine trying to go through a little small hole you got in your hand to turn this it would get a little difficult. So I pull this loop straight to start with, okay? I just pull it straight to start with, and this is a pretty long loop, this three footer here, and I can go even bigger. Okay, so I take this line and I set it right here. If you see, it's on the face of this, this turn right here, and I pull a little slack in, I bring it up, just enough room to get my hand through. And I get my hands positioned so I can follow this down. Very easily pulls through to three, four, five, and six. Now, if you're trying to pull that through a little small opening, it gets a little difficult. We got our loop off here to the right, resting, okay? And what I do with this is I just put my, I keep my finger in there, put my hand, bring my hand right down here so my hand's writing down, fingers are touching this whole turn going all the way down. To the right here, I grab this line, and I simply keep my fingers in there and I draw this over to the right, okay? To a small turn. And you don't want it to flip over, you wanna keep it straight, that's the important part, okay? Okay, so I take that out of there and I have achieved my small turn. I always keep that loop straight, don't like them flipping, flipping around. Okay, so I got it out and this is what it looks like, just like this. If you look at these turns right here, they're very, evenly spaced over the top of that turn, okay? And then I'm gonna take and lubricate this. I lubricate it very well, always do, it's very important. And now, right now, I got my hands to the right and in my loop, and to the left and in my loop. So I got two on my right, two on my left, and I got my fingers in the loop. Now I'm gonna pull this quickly, because once you let go of these turns, this uh, mono and fluorocarbon will try to jump over on itself, and we really don't want that. That'll destroy the knot. 
So if you watch what I do, I just start pulling on my right and left and drop my fingers right out and do it very quickly. Here we go. Okay, so that was a quick move. And then I put my hand in the end of my loop. I pull on that. And what you end up with is a 12 turn actually. You're turning a, a double with the six turns you make, but there's a double and that's two turns per each turn. So that's 12 turns in this fluorocarbon line. Um, sometimes you gotta tend the line on certain knots a little more than you do others, but what you end up with is an excellent knot. So anyways, if you wanna uh, tie the surgeon knot to braid, floral, mono, uh, pick up one of these tools. Leaving that opening and passing them through as a breeze, uh, you draw it down to a little smaller size, you keep your lines all crossing straight, and when you pull that, it's a great knot. Well, thanks for watching on The Knothead. Uh, join us at the knothead.com library and check out The Knots Returner. Thank you.